You're thinking anyway was the, the flow of penalties that suddenly went to Wales and I'm a firm believer in Murray Megstead's phrase, the, the ebb and flow of psychic energy. You know, it, it happens in games. Once the penalties and they start to get some uh, three pointers on the board, it starts to flow back towards Wales again. Wales control that scrum. It's a tentative moment, obviously, when, when the scoreline is close um, at, a, at, a, at a stage of a match like that, but it's to, you know, keep a cool head and, and, and just practice, you know, what you've done every single day on the training pitch and try and implement it into that game. Ball in hand! Against Wales, of all people, you don't want to be trying to close up shop. They've got so many finishers, so many dangerous players. We did speak about trying to not go into our shells and defend the lead. We tried to talk about continuing to play the same attacking style that we had for for the whole whatever it was 50 55 minutes up to that point oh, terrific work but credit to wales they did come back it was the highs and lows of, of everybody i mean not not just the coaching staff the players supporters you sort of remember every bit of that last five minutes of the pitch and you know that's i, I suppose what you spent time in rugby for uh, for those moments you've played played 70 minutes so you know you're not you, you don't have the same emotions as the people in the stands it's so much easier being out there than it is watching that's just scramble that's just once he breaks that first tackle it's just it's get him down stop him don't give away penalties because it's one team trying to hold on to make history and it's just it really was just frantic Phillips Drop it goal, Stephen Jones, this for the lead. He's got it. He's got it. And they're the championship moments. In a way, the experience you have as a coach sort of comes through in those moments as well. You know, what messages not to give rather than what messages do you give? They're in the middle of the battle. Uh, they'll work their way out of it. Five and a half minutes, four and a half minutes. But yeah, of course, it should never have come to this. And, and you've got doubts now, and this is dramatic to come back and have to get a score with whatever it was, four and a half or five minutes remaining. There was no panic in the team, like we knew it was just a case of uh, getting down to their end of the field again, like, and try and get hold of the ball. It, was, it wasn't like it was a minute to go, I knew there was, there was a few minutes to go on that there was time. And it's gone in on the full. You sense they would have a belief out there in the team and talking to them, listening to them afterwards, they did, they regrouped. And they'd fully expected and believed in themselves that they could go down there. And they had done this before against Wales in the Millennium Stadium. Like once Stephen Jones got the drop goal, I was convinced that it was going to have an impact on the game. I thought it would be a penalty. This now is the chance. We knew we had good guys to take it into contact and retain ball. We knew that it worked well in the championship. We drilled this in training. We knew different ways that if we were in this sort of position, what we had to do. And you look to O'Gara and you wonder how much pressure can one player At that take? point, are you aware? Do you feel more pressure or...? I don't. I don't think like that at all. That mindset is so different to everyone else in the stand. It has to be. Wallace and Wallace is helped by Paddy Wallace. You know, you prepare. And at this stage, probably 10 years of playing. I think you need it, you enjoy it. Ireland in position. Well, I think somebody else was lining up behind Rog. They were, was it Rory Best or something was standing there? And then, you know, I, I remember watching Rory back in Portland College, kicking for goal and stuff, and I would have laughed if the ball had it came to him, he would have had a pop at it. I thought I fancied it, and then I thought, no, maybe I'll not, we'll get out of the way. It's too near there, you know. It's slow ball, so they're in a loaded start. It's basically one step snap is the technique. Ball has fallen away, so it's a poor drop too, but that case. <laughs> Fairness to Raj, I um they got out very quick to me, had yeah. to kind of scoop it up. Um you're just hoping it's going straight. And you could see the surprise in his face when you got it. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't believe it, yeah. yeah. We were so shocked. This must be it for Ronan O'Gara. Drop it go! Grand Slam and stage! Season. It was, yeah, I was really happy for him, you know, really happy for him. Still there is time for more. We've still got two minutes to go. 
we didn't expect any other twists, you know, kind of catch the restart and as you know, there's been many a twist and turn in this campaign. I have watched this for ages. Sometimes you get so engrossed in the game from the bench, you become a bit of a supporter just watching the game. And You know, I got to the, I don't know, 1.70 odd minutes and all of a sudden I got the word that I was, I was coming straight on. I can actually remember being happy to be out in their half, like, you know, or just, and it was just, if we could just hold the defensive line, let them run it over and back, because they were, they were out of range of drop goals and stuff like that. The tiredness is, you're not worried, worried about that now, you're just getting up as quick as you can from every tackle and trying to get into the defensive line and just be another number. And again, if someone comes running at you, you just put them down a second time. You know, this is slow ball now. You know, everything's sort of going in our favour. You've got to be thinking it's very close to 80 minutes here. If we could get the ball back, it's game over. What referees tend to do is, is shout hands off or, or release the ball whenever you're in that post position. And, uh, and I didn't hear that, so I thought, you know, it's within my rights to, to keep going at it. Yeah, it's kind of... My views have changed over the summer on this. <laughs> I said, how could a fella give away a penalty with two minutes to go in a game? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, jeez, you couldn't possibly. <laughs> so, my story has changed nicely. No penalties. No penalties now. Penalty is there. And will they take it? Of course they will. 79 minutes and 23 seconds. Oh, I don't believe it. It's like forgetting the words to your favorite song. You can't believe it. You were always singing along. It was so easy. So sweet, you can't remember. You try to feel the beat. It was, it was a feeling of uh, even, even walking back to the posts after he had signaled, uh, you know, a state of almost shock, I suppose. Uh, you know, I've, actually, I've been in a car crash before, and you get a numbness of the shock after the incident, and it was almost. Something close to that. You spend half of your life I knew it was in a dangerous position, like, but it's still a hard kick to make. I would have been much more worried if uh, I think Henson was taking it. I remember at the time going, being so tired, just going, I hope this doesn't go over. All the dreams and all I just went very quiet because you see, I saw the clock ticking over. I'm going and turning from black to red, knowing that that was the last play of the game. To lose it at you know, this late point is just heartbreaking. Uh, I just closed my eyes, put my head in my hands, and just sat there. Yeah, I thought it was over, yeah. I thought it was, thought it was gone, yeah, definitely. It's like forgetting the words. Painfully watching the ball in flight, it's just it's a horrible experience. I just thought no matter what, we're going to win. The whole, the whole game, we were just going to win. By half the distance, I realised that it was spinning quite rapidly and uh, probably wasn't going to make it, so uh, you know, a smile probably started to develop. Has it? Has not made it! Just relief for me. Uh, you know, people were ecstatic running around the pitch. Paul O'Connell uh, running around like a demented <laughs> Limerick man as he is, and uh, I, I was just relieved, just quietly uh, blessed and relieved. You know, I think had we lost that, it would have been really difficult to come back from. You know, to to, to have fallen so short in such a a huge occasion.